I'm gonna be showing you the 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 problems with what young Pharaoh and Sadi is teaching the people. I know exactly what they're teaching y'all. They're teaching y'all apprentice Masonic knowledge. See, most people don't understand why Pharaoh Channel is growing so big, and they think that I'm jealous of it. As if I don't know telling the truth ain't popular. As if I can't be bigger than young Pharaoh if I went with the popular mainstream opinion when it comes to occult science. What people don't know is General Seti is a fucking Mason. This is what they don't know. Seti went to Kemet. He pledged under the Masonic Brotherhood with Ashra Kwesi and all the other Masons. Now, I learned a lot from Ashra, Ashra Kwesi. I learned a lot from Ray Hagen. Ray Hagen is a Mason. These Masons are there to teach you only enough to keep you working and being a slave. And to gain your trust that, hey, he taught me something. But they're not there to really give you the whole truth that can set you free and stop making you be a student and make you become a teacher. If you got a brain, think about what I'm going to say. I am an anti-government teacher, meaning that I don't do politics. I think politics are part of our problem as a people. I think government is not the solution, but the problem. I am what you call an anti-government person. Now... Pharaoh is pro-government. Pro-government don't mean you're patriotic. It just means that there are certain aspects of government that you think can be a solution to the people. As of now, the aspect of government that Pharaoh think can be a solution to the people is Trump's presidency. Pharaoh thinks that Trump's presidency will get rid of a lot of corruption in government. But think about how stupid this is. Government itself is built on corruption. That's like me saying Trump can take some of this stankiness out of this shit turd. You can't pick none of the stank out of that. (laughs) Every part of it is fucking funky. The United States government was founded on corruption. It's never been non corrupt. So, how can you take the corruption out of something that is the very manifestation of evil? This country was built on the backs of indigenous people. The founding fathers of this country were slave owners and they were so corrupted. There's no way you can take corruption out of American government when the very fact that America exists is corruption. In case you didn't know, America is not a country, it's a disease. America is not a country, it's a disease and it spreads like fucking AIDS. And when Americans come to your land, You just wait. You got infected with colonialism. And then 50 years later, your people going to be speaking English. And it's going to be American motherfucking stores. And man, when I went to Korea, them people didn't even have a culture. The colonialists just didn't take our culture, black people. When I went to South Korea, I lived in South Korea for over a year. And I did not experience the South Korean culture in its entirety because it felt like I landed right back in America. It was Walmarts everywhere, McDonald's everywhere. We've taken those people culture. Most of them speak English now. The older ones still speak Korean. I realized then us Americans are not countrymen. We're a fucking disease that's spreading around. Only thing I'm telling y'all is this. Pharaoh supports Trump. I am anti-government. Said he supports Trump. And I was I was actually looking to see his stances on Trump and I was able to get that 
on that recent stream. So shout out to Sadie and Pharaoh. From now on, listen, and this is my promise. From now on, when I address Sadie and Pharaoh, I'm going to be respectful just like I'm doing now. Because I don't want to play my part in dividing the people. Now, if he want to have followers to come over here and, and keep up the uh, bullshit, the mess and all that, that's fine. But I'm not going to stoop on that level. Hey, open your eyes. Can't you the see? shit's chess. It ain't checkers. <laughs> it can't be like this. It is this way, man. I'm sorry I exposed you to it, but it is. It's ugly, but it's necessary. And I know what you're going through. I know what you're feeling. You're scared. I'm not scared. Yes, you are. You're terrified. Everybody goes through that the first time. I went through it. The sooner you can match what's in your head with what's going on in the real world, the better you're going to feel. The world that opens up for you. I walk a higher path, son. I can give you the keys to all the doors. <laughs> 